I'm excited to announce that on my Nexus store, nexus.gg slash weekend, there is a weekend package now available around Smite where you can get yourself the Valkyrie Rage Thanatos skin, one of my favorite skins, the Convention Kali skin, which is one of the most simple, clean Kali skins in the game, and then Feaster Bunny Bakasura. It is going to be a, a kind of cost of $34.99 for the three skins, and then there is also some extra goodies involved in there, some emblems. Check it out. Make sure you go and buy the package as soon as possible. Once again, nexus.gg slash week. We've got beep beep. I'm a Buick as our Elo Hell Lee. Elo Hell participant. I still don't have a name for this. I don't know what's calling it. They just gonna have to bleep that one that goes on YouTube. So he doesn't have a crazy amount of games played since the split, but he was certain we had a lobby set up for someone else. They didn't show up. He was certain he could fill in and he can do this. He's a mid or solo. He said he's comfortable. Comfortable. I'm in quotations or both. We'll see how he plays out. Overall like his stats the last 16 games are pretty good his match history is not bad overall it seems like he's got somewhat of a grasp of the game i don't know how he'll do this is a diamond well, like a high diamond low masters lobby a mix of the two do i think he's gonna pop off i don't do i hope he pops off i do wait what is this team comp support icho Who's the best jungler in my opinion? Overall, I think it's Kali. For ranked, I think it's Kali. Like what's really good right now and maybe hasn't proven. He's playing solo, all right. How, proven yet, because it hasn't played a lot. I think Bastet is really cracked. I think Sirket is still really cracked and two of them are should be top gods, but are undervalued. Bop Bop has been slamming each L. Really? King Bop Bop on the each L support. Let's see what he's got. Wait, is your one better clear than your, your, I mean, your two better clear than your one? No, right? Oh, this is a bad start. This is a bad start because this does 30% more damage to camps. This is a bad start. I'm like, did I forget something? <laughs> oh, no. The little things, man, they tell me a lot. The, oh, the one, wait, the one does not do more base, right? It does. It does. It, it does. <laughs> beep, beep. Your one can hit, and your one's like not gonna miss when you group everything. It's actually easier to hit the one than the two. We'll see what he's got. If anyone wants to know what I'm eating, I'm eating taquitos. I haven't eaten dinner yet tonight, so this is my dinner. Dude, 30% extra damage is so much extra damage too that he just doesn't get. Hmm. Nathan, yes. Please don't let me forget. I keep forgetting. I do not know if this is an Xboxer or a mouse and keyboard gamer. Why is he getting bullied so much? What is his build? Oh, he's going the sigil build. I don't know if the sigil builds the move anymore. Oh, he's dead. He went to sigil build. He also has blink. So he's screwed. Port, the Shiva, is also a console player. He's a high-rated console player. He's good, but he is a console player. Oh, he, dude, this guy's game is screwed. Too many... Wait, he's in Transcendence? Is this the Wukong main? Did, didn't I do a rank one Wukong main for, um, for a video? Is that what the guy built? Cause I think the guy built something like this. 
I think he's copying that guy's build. And I think since the patch, I, I don't know that that's the build anymore. What's up, Rocky? Thank you for the 16 months. See me do it. I do some crazy shit, but I think he got this from the rank one Wukong. I did this build before patch. Did I do it because it was the rank one Wukongs? Yeah, this badge is not the badge. This badge has changed so much. I feel bad for this guy. I'm not sure that it would have changed anything, but I feel bad. Okay, this makes sense, but this build, there's no way this build's been working for him. What up, Chris? This build's just outdated. He's using everything to clear because his one's not clearing because he's behind on levels and he doesn't have blue sign. And he doesn't have TP, so he's losing farm. He's lost a lot of farm already. He better have some crazy rotation or just his team better carry him in some team fight because right now his laning phase is dog. It's not upgraded blink. It's just a visual for spectator because spectator sucks in his might. It's sad to be like, yo, your build is why your this laning phase is so bad, but that's what's happening right now. I'm eating taquitos. I did not have dinner tonight. And Sammy had apples for dinner, so she's having ramen. I don't know if he's mouse and key. He's not pot. Oh. He's not potting either, which is his problem. It's a kill. Nice. Wait, okay. Okay. I mean, he didn't do a whole lot, but he went back in. He wasn't scared. So I respect this and his team rotated. I knew this is what had to happen to keep him in the game. So now we hope he has a comeback into this laning phase. Plus, he's got to be finishing his items, right? Transcendence online. Yep. He's going to go Soul Eater next. He's going to be very squishy, though. I don't know if he's on Instacast, and I don't know if he's on console or what. Did he get out cleared on this with transcendence? Wait, did he get that? He's clearing the way I do when I want to fight somebody. I position like that when I'm solo laning to mess with people so they don't really know how to react and then they fight me like idiots. And I think that's what he's doing, but I don't know if he knows why he's doing it. Rats here. He's fine. You're fine. Turn this. Turn this. No, bro. If he just stunned him and gone in, I think he could have killed him. I respect the playing safe, but I think he could have killed him. He's playing smart. I think he knows he's kind of getting baited. I like this. For a set, this remember this is a 1700 MMR player, like almost 1800 MMR. Oh. And Port is like a 2700 MMR player, I think. 26. Maybe he's gone down off some L's, but he was 2728. Yeah, he'll be all right late game, I think. His build will just be a little weird. 
he finally clears. Thank baby Jesus. Did you say Hasten needs a buff? No, because if Hasten's buff, too many people exploit it. Hasten's in a good place because it's viable on the gods that need Hasten and then no one else. Uh, Zeisper? No, there's no way I would fill a West server. It's all East Coast. Not many people queue West Coast in general. No way. Oh, yo, he should have gotten hit first. I think he could have got hit first. Now he's going to lose his blue. He doesn't want to back. Yep. I think he could have baited a lot. Oh, he wasted his secure. Oh, no, if you two there, you secure it. Cool down, cool down. Pop your cool down shard. Cool down shard. All right, no cool down shard. Now Alpha's dead. He messed up so bad defending that blue. If he just won, he can secure that all day with his one. Wukong out secures junglers with his one. That, that thing is OP. He's going Solator next. Yeah, he just sit back and won it and never be out of position. I don't know why he won right away. He also doesn't have TP, so he's going to miss more farm. Oh, he did pop his shard? It had to have been crazy late then, right? Because I didn't see his abilities getting any cooldown. He's two levels down, level level and a half ish, little little in between. Bro, you gotta hit all the creeps with your one. You're wasting so much time not doing that. I've seen that so much when we do Elo Hell videos, is people just don't clear properly. So many mid laners that just don't hit the whole wave with their ability as a mid laner is crazy. Okay, he he got that, but I don't think he did that on purpose. He just turned the corner and won. I don't know if he real. I, I bet you a thousand dollars if you ask this guy if he knows what his one does. He doesn't know it does extra damage to creeps and the camps. One is OP for clear. Goodness gracious. What's up, filthy? What is the Shiva building? It was going to be very tanky and very annoying here. Filthy, thank you for the gifted. Randy, thank you for the nine months. I appreciate you guys gifting subs. We lost like a, we lost a lot of subs today. I should have expected it, but I did not. They kill this guy. Oh, he's... No, oh, why are you slowing? Where? He's going to get out, I think. His dash is up. Oh no, he's dead. Okay, I thought he was gonna get out. He doesn't know Bastet's coming, but Bastet is coming. No, sorry. Oh, rattle! No, he doesn't have his knockup immunity, and he's dead. Such a basic concept, dude. Just back. That's a good Bastet rotation, but such, just such, it's such basic smite gameplay, man. If you just back there, you don't die and you get an advantage. But now your whole advantage is gone because you stayed for no reason. One more wave syndrome is fine if you know where the people are. If you don't, you can't have that. You have to just back. Like he's legit going to miss creeps here. He's actually gonna miss creeps. He 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 lost. He didn't gain anything. He only lost here. He's about to miss a whole wave. That's crazy. He missed an entire wave, and he didn't even get the wave he was going for when the rat killed him. So he actually missed two waves. They got a nice pick and left. He's rotating for the beacon, but the beacon's gonna be gone by the time he gets here. He has blue timer. Ooh. 
So now his one isn't up to steal his blue. Is he going to get this? He might not get this. Bro, he's not going to get this. Wait, is he? Oh, he's coming. He got it. Ooh, that was close. He's playing with his monitor. On. What the fuck is this? Just go away. Just birdie. Birdie out. Bro, he's ulting you. Why is he just eating an entire ult? Just bird five feet and you don't take any damage. No, it was a good rotation from the mid laner, but BB is just, he's, you got to play like anybody will kill you, man. It makes you such a better player. If you're like, if you think about, oh, I could die here all the time. And how do you react? How do you not die? You know? Oh, he died with alt up. He didn't burn out. Uh, I don't know. So he's 1790 MMR and he's playing in a low masters high diamond lobby. Like 2200 to 2600 MMR. His build is just transcendent sigil and soul leader. He's going to go glad shield next. He's building what the rank one Wukong built last, like, like a month and a half ago, two months ago. I did that video a long time ago. I, I have to go through and update a bunch of smart source builds so I know people aren't doing this. His like, early laning phase was so rough because of this build. And now he's being bullied since the guy has mana core spikes. He's the same level as their rat though. Like he's not super far behind at all. He could still be very impactful in the team fights. He hasn't lost the game for his team. His team is kind of getting booped on though. Ken's who was in the video today and I did last night is getting wrecked. He's one in five with a dog build. That is a build boys. And it isn't a good build. What up Fatalis Panda? Thank you for the prime. Oh, this is hard to watch. He has health chalice, right? Why isn't he popping it? Bro. <laughs> All right, smart. Not getting knocked up. Don't go back in. You're getting baited. Oh, he went for the sustain play. Does he go for the kill here? And if his health chalice is up this whole time and he hasn't popped it, I'm tilted. Oh, no, him. All right. Well, at least he's not taking damage. Red team got gold. He uses chalice. I hate the visual shows that it's up. I can't tell if he's on controller either. I don't think he is, but he might be. Good grief. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go. My chat just fucking went away. Building full damage is 180 for 140. Well, the Shiva is tanky too. You have to realize that Shiva is not squishy. Shiva went bluestone though, so his clear was so much better. And Shiva's up two levels. A uh, level. One full level. Shiva also a TP. Like I said, levels though, he's not behind his team. He's, his ADZ is getting absolutely ruined right now. The rat is really good. That's crazy because he's... Uh, not farming very well for having four kills and a gold fury. Wait, his build is at wide as the rat of a heart seeker. This rat, I, I'm not even trying to be mean. The rat's just hanging out and doing his thing. This build is do as dog. My man has second item heart seeker on Ratatoskri. He said, I don't need cooldown. I don't need any items with, with solid early game actives. I want heart seeker. While I dive squishy targets in the back line and get zero damage from my heart seeker. Oh, 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 
that's all good. Is Rat gonna go in? Oh, he juked the rat. Bird form! Bird form! Bird stop! He's waiting for the blink. Oh. He's dead. The people in this game are, are high diamond, low masters, 22 to 2,500, 2,600 of them are. He is 17 to 80 of them are. Or 1790, somewhere in there. What's up, Dead Wizard? Thank you for the 37 month reset. They're doing big? Yo, you gotta go for this. You gotta defend this, right? No way. What the fuck? He's dead. Okay. Wait, wait, go back in, go back in. Your team's going in. Go back in. Go, go. How is no one hitting this fire? It's reset. All right. Alien, thank you for the five or four month, four month reset. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And he's done. This is rough. No, no fire though. I'm just not his ult back. I'm not sure what I'm watching. Want him. He didn't two. No, the Aegis. Oh, he played that so poorly. He ulted when he should have two. We're in up in two. He ulted into the Aegis. Oh, wait, this guy got a kill. Big. The ADC getting a kill on the board is big. He's higher. Wait, he's higher level than the Rama now. So he got a lot of farm out of this. This is not a bad fight in the end of it. They're only down 2,500. That's crazy to me. Got it. Is Cern the number one Pele? He is, yes. That is the number one Pele. <clears throat> All right. I knew this, day would come. this man is uh, one in five, but somehow this game is still easily winnable. Want him? Nice. All right, stun the rat. Yes, sir. Okay. He's using his abilities correctly now. That last fight, he didn't. How many elo hells am I doing tonight? Uh, after this game, I'm gonna do a quick 1v1 and then I'm gonna do another elo hell with somebody who's in the coaching. And then assuming I we have a good time, I'll do one more. I started to stream a little late tonight, but I'm not going late to stream. Like, I'm not gonna stream late because I'm gonna do another, if I'm either gonna go to my son's uh, swimming lessons tomorrow or, or I think they're early enough, I might go to them and then stream afterwards. Wait, Rama stole that? No. No, it didn't even look like it. Oh man, when things start to go right for them, it instantly goes wrong. No one was unsecure. I don't get what is up with that, by the way. If you're playing a mage that has any burst, you need to be securing. If you're playing any assassin that has burst, you need to make sure you have something to secure. Like they just have the ability up when the trick gets low. I don't get it. The view has to be locked. That's why I think he might be co controller because he only slightly looks up and down. What happens is people are like, secure is not my problem. I'm just going to throw my ability out here. And it's because they don't want the responsibility of securing. They want to be able to blame someone else because if it goes wrong, they don't want it to be their fault, which is cringe as hell, dude. Too many people these days, hey, you're playing a video game. Why are you played afraid of failing in a video game? <laughs> Who cares? If, if the other team secures, it happens. How do you use your prime sub for me? Um, if you click the sub button, it should say, do you want to use your prime? If you're on browser at the bottom, it should say, use your free sub. And if none of that's working, you should be able to do exclamation mark sub and click that link and it should let you use it. 
Also, I appreciate you for wanting to sub and use your prime sub here. Loaded with the sauce. All right, he's loot. He still kills this guy, right? Oh, all right. He certainly disengages to his teammates. Yeah, you're out. Nice. Oh, the Rama cripple. The root. He's dead. That Rama cripple was huge. He messed up his blink. He didn't even need to blink the Baba Yaga, by the way. That blink was pretty bad. What's up, Warden? Thank you for the prime sub. They doing big? I'll swap back to him when he's up, but he's not up for 30 seconds. It's going to be a hot minute. Oh, they're not doing fire. Wait, they're doing fire? Oh, they want to do it. Scream knows. He, he found, he spotted this early. They should be able to defend this. I bet he doesn't have TP to be in this fight. Did he just tiger form to get out of base? My guy. Alpha's clapping though. Alpha claps is clapping in the back. That was a really good play from Bop Bop. I'm not gonna lie to you. That was actually slick. They win this fight though. They should kill this guy and just win this fight. <laughs> Yo, this man just did a fucking basketball shot arc to land that tiger form. What just happened? My man said I'm doing the moon shape here, boys. I might actually land an ability, and he did. Ugh, Tiger needs drift lessons. Okay, I like that. I, I wish he would have backed out of the tower as soon as he got pulled though and not gone in for another shot. The, the forms are bugged in spectator. They are kind of leaning to the left every time. It's like that shotgun and cursed halo. If he's on insta cast, I respect it. He hasn't messed up his form casting much. Just what rate like that. He uh, coming out of base. I don't know if he used the wrong one on accident or what was that what that was. Hindu Sinclair, my boy. Thank you for the sub, Hindu. Hindu Sinclair. That sounds super proper. I don't know why. Like the name Sinclair. It sounds like money. Nah, dude. I gotta give him credit. His targeting right there was beautiful. I did not expect that in a million years. I did not expect him to get in and go on the mage, but his targeting was great. What's up, King Xander? They've been 30 months. There's some obvious issues with this dude, but uh, overall, I'm not disappointed in his gameplay. If he had built better early, I think his KDA is, I think he has like two deaths. I don't think he has six deaths. Silky melons, save the silky melons, save the four months. Blucky, Bluck, Blucky, you, Blucky, you, save the 12 months. The one year, welcome back. He's in by himself right here, does he realize? He gets, dude, I think Shiva is not okay in current state with items in the game. He's chunking because of mana core spikes. Because his abilities proc it when they, I feel like they shouldn't proc it. I feel like mana core spikes should only be proc by stunts. And nothing else. You finally subbed YouTube, man. Well, thank you, dude. And my YouTube video today is doing really well. I didn't even look at it until a few minutes ago. But I appreciate the YouTube love, too. One thing I'm super happy about with him is he's not afraid to go back in. Most people alt on Mukong and run away. They will not go back in and risk their lives. 
Snack pack. Thank you for the 30 month resub. Welcome back to you too. Big. This blue team is playing great groups. They're letting the Titan just get pushed though and right. I don't know if they're awake or what. Yeah, what's his build? He went glad and then what? Glad, Onis, Heartseeker. He got to the build. Once that Heartseeker is online, he'll pump. A cooldown on mana core spikes. I would be okay with that too. Watch my videos while you do dishes daily. Let's go. I hate the dishes, man. I'm just so tall. It, it legit hurts my back to do the dishes. It's frustrating. What does diff mean in spam chat? Diff? It means like you got, you were the difference. You were the problem. So like if someone's like jungle diff, it means their jungler was way better than your jungler or whatever. The difference in the match was that person or that role. It wasn't anything else. How tall do you think you are? Do I think I am? What do you mean? Do I think I am? I know how tall I am. What's up, Venom? How much time for my arm tattoo? I think I said it was 30 hours total. It's been so long. Today I was thinking about it and I was like, I forgot like, for a minute. I forgot who did my tattoo and the tattoo shop. Robin a jungle power pen. Yeah, don't go. Don't go tank in the jungle. If you want to carry your games, you don't need to. Ravana with full damage, cooldown, pen, you know, power, you're chilling. He finished Heartseeker here now, right? Yes, sir. Full build. Sigil the old guard. Wait. Isn't that the wrong sigil? Bro. <laughs> no extra damage for the damage build. He went a damage mitigation sustain item when he doesn't have a sustain kit. Like he's not gonna sit here and tank a ton of damage. He'll die very quickly if he just tanks damage. He needs to stop targeting the HL. I pray he noticed that's a support. Is he go Rama here? No, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Thank you. They're dead. They lost this fight. Bro. Oh, maybe they got beads on the Cernal. He's dead. That's rough. Where's he going? Why did he just walk down the lane? He freaks out when he's targeted. I don't know if he's tunnel visioned or confused about who he should be targeting. Because that last fight, he walked right past a bunch of people and then used the wrong form. And his build is wrong. Each L annoying getter. You're not going after the support each L, dude. The last person I'm targeting, unless I'm full build like damage dealer. I'm not fire yet. Rat is cleaning up though. If Scream steals this, I'll shit my pants. If he'd have transformed earlier there, yeah, he lived for free. When did each L support become a thing? Right when she came out, people tried to play her in support. I don't think she's great as a support. I don't think she's the worst thing in the world. But I'd rather have a front line than an each L. Like a guardian. What do I care for my tattoos? Uh, so I use a thing called After Inked. And I used it for my healing process. And I use it every day, twice a day, uh, morning and night. Forever. I'll, I'll use it forever.
Someone told me it's a little expensive. I honestly don't know the price. I just did a bunch of research when I was getting my the rest of my sleeve done and I had heard really good things about it. My healing was great. I had no scabbing. Um, I mean, there's there's more I do to my healing than just that, but yeah, that's that's what I use after inked. Recommendation if you're getting a tattoo, especially a bigger one, uh, shower three times a day. It's a little bit more difficult for people with jobs and everything. I get it that you aren't at home, but try to shower three times a day. Do warm wash, like lightly wash, another warm light wash, and then an ice cold rinse uh, every time you shower. So three times, three times, three times. It's worked every time for me, for my sleeve. And whenever I get another tattoo, I'll do it again. It makes the healing process faster. It, I don't have crazy scabbing. It doesn't itch. Why are they defending off of the Phoenix? This is another mistake that I, I see a lot of people make. Just sit on the Phoenix and play defense. It's so easy to, to defend in Smite right now. Yeah, use unscented soap. Um, I don't know the brand that I use. I, I have a huge thing of it. Pat dry. Yes, sir. My tattoos hurt afterwards. Like they were sore afterwards. Not like I'm a cry, but enough that I would complain about it to Sammy. Especially sleeping. Bro. Because he wasted his all going in for no reason, he can't truly defend this Phoenix. They're going to defend this, which is crazy because he played that really poorly. He could have played it much better. That step might be able to clean up. What up, Chipper? Going to get a sleeve? That's I want to get a, a leg sleeve done. After seeing Jordan's at the, the beach, he has like a, a, a lower sleeve, not a full sleeve. I really liked it. Can I do 500k points so that we can pick the man, that man a tat? Pick who a tattoo? I don't want to pick someone else's tattoo, dude. Let's find something you think is cool. If you don't, if there's nothing that you like, I want to do something with meaning, do something that's just cool to you. That's what my next tattoos are going to be. They aren't going to be super meaningful tattoos. I'll probably get um, Sammy and Lincoln's initials because that Sammy's doing something similar and I like the idea. I just don't know what I want to do with it. But my next big tattoo is just going to be shit I like. I want if I could get that woman that does the Kobe like the realistic tattoos to do a Kobe tattoo I would I would 100% She followed me back on the TikTok so maybe I can uh, figure out if she ever has a like a Like a trip to Virginia where she's doing tattoos Do I DM people for ELO hell? No, there's a sign up sheet for ELO hell. You just sign up and I pick people I saw a really cool tattoo idea on TikTok last night this girl went to each of her family members, like her brother, her mom, her dad, and I think her, she had a sister or something. And she had them each draw a flower. And then she put the flowers together onto like a stem, a stem. So they were each different flowers and had that done as a tattoo, which I thought was pretty dope. All right, I had a bar. Beep, beep, my bad. All right, beep, beep. You can do this, dude. You can do this. You're just making, just some of your decision making is off. Not all of it, but a decent amount. Nah, I don't have any smite tattoos. I'm not really sure I want to get a smite tattoo. Well, I feel like smite has done a lot for me. I don't feel like it was because of smite that I've gotten where I am. I, I feel like, I don't know. I, I feel like I don't owe it to smite, basically. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like I want to get something when I don't. I don't owe anything to Smite. I feel like Smite could have done a lot more for me very easily without hindering them. But, you know, it's not like I'm deserving of it or some shit like that. I just think there could have been more done over the years. Could have treated us better. That, I guess that's a better way to put it. No, I'm not getting a Bacchus leg tattoo. I don't like a God tattoo just doesn't even sound super appealing to me for me. Now, if I got a Mercury tattoo with some Nikes, like some like legit Nikes, like one of them, like you know some some off white, you know or Air Max 90s or something, that's something I I would kind of think is cool and I'd want to do. Bro, that other team just had such a good fight diving onto this hunter that I think they ought to win this. He doesn't land any autos either. You think he's on controller? 
He doesn't auto very much at all. That guy's dead in the back if he just... Oh, he got lost in the sauce. He got lost in the sauce. The Rama lives. This game's over. You think the way he's on his... He uses one is obvious on controller? I guess. Thank you, missionary. I appreciate that, dude. I kind of want to get a little tattoos for my next tattoos and, and not do a 10 hour session. That sucks, man. I feel bad for, for beep beep. You're not far off from being a better player. You're no, you're definitely not high diamond. You're not competing with these guys as is, but you change like five, four, three to five things. And you're in there and the build is the easiest thing to change and i'm not blaming him for his build being off but his build needs to change he needs to go back to bluestone and into a hybrid build so wukong for those of you who see this or watching wukong is back to building bluestone and hybrid like tanky hybrid you're not full damage anymore just because of the way the meta shifted again uh off the last patch beep beep can you join discord All right, I got you. Join, uh, just join the general channel, like general voice chat. Do it up, Geo. It's exciting. All right, beep beep. Up, we're, gonna, we're gonna make you a better player here, okay? That was, um, I would say that was one of my um, worst games, honestly. Well, that should be expected because you have to realize you're playing against people that are just way higher MMR. Um, in the in the elo that I play in, I usually run solo, and then I can kind of like um, I don't know, rotate and make more plays. Just yeah, do what you want. You you bully yeah. everybody. Okay, so yeah. I didn't you're... really feel like Shiva had my number like too much. I definitely misplayed a couple times, and um, I got a little confused uh, with the open comms because they would like call that were like people were coming my way, and then I just didn't really realize they were talking to me, and then rat would drop on my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta respect that shit. As soon as you hear it, you gotta, especially really, like, in, they were talking to me. in games like this, bro. When people are telling you like someone's coming right, they're not wasting your time. Just play like they know what they're doing. Um, no, it, it was less uh, they're coming right, but like rats about to drop on you, and I'm like, okay, who is you? You know what all I mean? Right. So we're gonna talk about this. First of all, are you mouse and keyboard or controller? I'm mouse and keyboard. Okay. All right. Now that we know that, that's good to know. Um, you are using the Wu Kong build from the number one Wu Kong video. But the problem is the builds have changed with these these patches. Um, with Wukong, yeah. you want to go back to Bluestone because that's why your laning phase was rough. You yeah, I, couldn't I've keep up. That, like I've been getting I've been getting shit on, so I've just been kind of like playing Wukong for the late game. And with with this build, I don't mean to talk over you. Or like, you're fine. No, you're fine. Go whatever. for it. But what I've what I've felt with this build is with the mitigation from the uh, Sigil starter and the Oni Hunters. In the elo that I've been playing in, I've been able to like 1v1, 2v1, or 1v2 uh, backliners. Alright. That makes and sense. This, it's mainly this, because the people you're, game, you're playing against are bad. Different. Yeah, and because you're playing against on. people who are, you're in your bracket, like that bracket, you're probably playing against people who miss, who don't auto correctly and don't, don't know what they're going to do. The problem with that, even going that sigil, you're way too squishy with that build. Like that sigil's a waste of your time when people aren't stupid because you're way too squishy. Going into a bluestone, soul eater, glad shield, um, just like full defense build out yeah, of that. I got you. Or even yeah. going going bluestone, glad shield, then soul eater. Like there's you can mix and match to get a little bit tanky earlier, but the bluestone will make your laning phase way cleaner and way simpler. Yeah. Um sure. you one thing that everyone was talking about, and you kind of played toward the back of the wave and then you would clear towards your wave if that makes sense and i, I think you know what, what you were doing were you so, doing that to fight like because you wanted to want it and then force a fight usually what i do with wukong specifically is um i walk towards the enemy solo laner to them i to the enemy solo and the front minions which forces the minions to stack on me um and then i can one the wave and the enemy uh solo laner and it splits their wave. So whatever farm or whatever ability that they have to farm, their wave is now split because I've forced 
their melee minions to follow me and my melee minions. And then I still have my three for bull or tiger or whatever um, to be relatively safe and still deal additional damage to the enemy right. laner. And the Your wolf. play style has shifted so much into playing against people who are bad. I'm just going to be very honest with you because what you're explaining is correct, but that other soul laner should be hitting you as well, which would be negating the whole like wave so, that that's why it was happening that's, there that's what was happening here is yes. i would hit my two and it had too long of a wind up shiva's uh shiva's one is faster so shiva's one would cancel my two and then i would two afterwards and it just kind of like threw the whole thing off it still kind of worked but not as well as i wanted it to yeah you're gonna have to shift your play style around gods that can out poke you especially if you don't have that blue stone early and just not even allow him to hit you in the first place or to commit a little bit earlier, commit a different ability. Use your one to hit him and the wave at the same time because you more than likely can get that off. Uh, there's definitely ways you could have played around that. Your landing phase wasn't the worst because your team kind of bailed you out once or twice, but then you stayed around for so fucking long that you threw every lead you got. You you kept like ruining the game for yourself. Can you um, elaborate a little bit? Yeah, like, the, first, kind of, like, specific moments? the first gank... Uh, your bass that came over and had a solid gank. You guys just free killed the solo laner. You went yeah, for yeah. one more wave and the rat ulted you and killed you. The rat you shit on my head, yeah. When that yeah, happened, I you missed that. that wave when the rat ulted you and you missed the next wave when you spawned. It went into the tower because you went for your blue buff, which you were going to miss the wave anyway. So you went from getting yeah, a massive I, I advantage. I As I was walking to the blue, I think there was like two minions left and it was like I could go to that. Yeah, that but didn't matter. Are gonna die by the time I yeah. walk there, you so you I fucked up. You fucked up already by going for the next wave. You need okay. to Do take dubs, green? especially when you get kills, bro. In the early game, a good way to throw any lead you get is by staying there at low health with no item and the person TPing back. So you need to just be like, okay, he's dead. I'm out. Let me back to base. Let me get a solid reset and stop thinking like I need one more fucking wave because that wave's not gonna make you win the game. That that might be like an Elo thing because I get a I get away with that a lot where I play if that makes sense. I mean, you know I mean? Uh, your average player goes for that. I'm gonna be honest with you. Your average player okay. goes for that, but it it's not a good thing to go for. You, I promise you, you come out way farther ahead by just fucking backing and not needing one more wave. The only time you go for one more wave is if you know specifically where everybody is. So like, if you knew Rat was in left, there were wards or some shit. Completely different story. Um, okay. Another gank you. That's you sat there and you ate a full fucking Shiva ult into his combo and then the mid laner ganked you. Just get out of the damage, bro. Just just bird farm three feet ahead so you don't take any of that damage. There's yeah, no I, reason to eat damage and that whole game in the like early mid laning phase and, and shit, you were just eating damage for no reason. You need to make a habit of not doing that. And I know okay. what's happening is you're playing against shitters, no offense, you're playing against lower level players, who don't min max that damage they aren't hitting you all the time they're not autoing you all the time and i could tell yeah. because you weren't landing autos either a lot of those fights you'd combo and then you would just auto the air once or twice because you couldn't get in the range you were you, you wanted to be because they were reacting and they were moving and they were hitting you and they were using abilities so you need to just kind of slow yourself down i think with a different build you'll feel a lot better in general to be honest i think you'll still be able to kill people i don't think it's going to change as much as you like you're worried about you know killing people and surviving you're gonna kill people and survive with the with the with the tankier build i promise yeah, you it's, I, it's gonna I, happen i don't um i don't I, and i'm not trying to make excuses and i'm taking what you're saying into account um so hopefully you don't take what i'm saying is like being argumentative but um i don't play solo to kill the other solo like i don't give a shit if that guy dies Correct. or not yes um and a lot of times when they poke me i tend to ignore it um like whatever i'm just gonna get the wave and do my thing i, I don't care if you want to fight i don't necessarily want to fight unless a jungler is coming i will say i was a couple beers deep um i've sobered up a little bit i wasn't watching my wards at all tonight um which was a huge a major screw up on my part um the guys in comms were pointing out that uh two of the times i got ganked they walked right over wards and i just completely missed it so that's on me uh, that's all i mean that's still fine though because the laning phase despite everything you were on par with the same level of your teammates. Your dual lane was having a bad game too, which kind of made the game really difficult for everybody else in your team since you were getting kind of railed and your ADC was getting railed. But you yeah. guys got into team fights and, and you were fucking up. Like, I'm not even trying to be mean. You were fucking up a lot in those team fights. When you go into a team fight, do you have a target in mind? Like while you're walking forward at people, do you know who you want to go on? Yeah, so this game I specifically wanted to go on Baba. Okay, that's fine. 
the problem was some of the times you walked right past the baba some of the times your positioning would be like let me run straight at them you need to especially if you're going for that early blink you need to have different angles and you can't just keep entering the fights the same way um okay. your combos there was a lot of times where you do something right like half of like half like you know the fight's 30 seconds long that first 15 seconds will be sick and then your second 15 seconds will be a little rough because you would lose track of targets you wouldn't yeah. get in and your autos are a really big extra damage that you just weren't getting that whole game you were not autoing in the team fights at all and that was a little rough to watch. That's why I was wondering if you were on a mouse and keyboard or controller. Just no, because you it's a controller I'm habit to not auto. I don't know if that makes a difference. I'm just <laughs> you feel slow, dude. No, you just gotta that's <laughs> no it's shit. like a I just feel slow, bro. Like it's I'm, more I'm, of a co I'm I think it's a confidence it. thing, dude. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think like you probably were used to the game going a certain way because you play it like you've been saying, yeah. you play against people play differently. But you need to have the confidence to like, I'm going to smash this guy. And at least at the very least, you're going to learn your limits in this game, right? Like you're going to go in, you're going to combo, you're going to auto. You're gonna be like, okay, this Rama hits harder than me. Or, you know, I got to avoid this. I got to yeah. I gotta do this different. But if you just sit there and don't try or don't full commit, you're never going to learn I, I feel in like, that sense. And again, not to make excuses. Um, I feel like a part of it might just be because I'm playing Elo Hell and they knew that like I was the guy. But I felt a little bit looked at in team fights typically as a Wukong going in on the back line. Like, no, you know, have a Shiva no, or, no. or support turning around no, and looking at you. Not that at all, dude. Experience. Not at all. Everybody in, a, in, in these brackets is the second you're in front of them, you're getting hit. That is the okay, difference. So like, That's why I can literally Halo, play. Like, everyone's going to turn on you when you I, dive. I can guess. I can go into your 1700 bracket and play like with my mouse in my left hand and swap everything up, and I'm probably gonna be fine because of how slow their reactions are. You're even you're pointing it out. You're saying you can dive the backline and they don't even fuck with you at all. That does not happen in higher brackets. The second you are in front of an ADC or a mage, you're being fucking hit. There's no there's no gap in time. That's why if you can get used to the positioning and stuff now, transitioning and gaining MMR will be faster. You're thinking your gameplay is great right now at 1800 MMR. It's fucking no, 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 not. No, no. I, I, no. I don't think my gameplay. Okay, is I don't. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not trying to words in your mouth. I don't mean like you think you're the best player ever, but you no, think no, you're playing no. okay. But yeah, it's, it's literally you need right. a whole play style shift, and it'll make you'll win more games off of it. And then when you get into higher MMR games, it'll be easier. The transition will be way faster and way easier. Okay. Uh, so, so build big thing. You already yeah. said it, paying attention to the ganks, uh, not going for extra waves after kills and, and your own ganks. You need to take advantage of that by just getting a, a nice little reset in. Um, team fights, try not to blink right in front of people. You're saying like you're not used to being targeted. It's b a big thing, and I learned this when I got into competitive. You need to position, especially on dives when you're not hyper tanky. With other builds, you'd be a little bit tankier. When you're not hyper tanky, you can't blink right into an auto. You can't blink right into an ability. You have to avoid okay. that. Yeah. Sure. Um, Try to engage fights a little bit easier, so you're or a little bit earlier, sorry, so your team can kind of follow you up. Towards the end of that game, you were kind of playing off of your teammates a little bit, and you were chasing around targets that you really shouldn't have been. You need to fucking ignore the idiots. You need to ignore, you know, the Shiva diving your mage. You need to just run at their fucking carries and ruin their day. That's your one and only job when you're playing a warrior solo. So get that, like, be, be really adamant about that when you're playing. And I think if you do all of that shit, which isn't that a lot, a lot that's like four or five things, I think you'll see a big improvement in your gameplay. So just to recap, my key takeaways are swap back the bluestone build. Um, be careful about the way I take engages. Don't overstay after getting a dub. And what were the other two? For the late, like when you want to late game team fights, how you engage the fight, don't engage right in front of a major or a hunter unless, or unless you're poking. Like if you're just wanting them for the fuck of wanting them, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when you're committed, you're blinking in and shit. Yeah, just fucking coming from a different angle. There was a lot of times where if they didn't see you walking at them, you could have had a way better engage. So work on that and then work on just getting in the fight faster and not waiting on your teammates because you're not playing a fucking assassin. You're not a jungler. You need to get in the fights to make the game easier for your, you know, your front, your, your back line to play for your jungler to play. You going in first is really, really big. Use call outs when you're going in. That's the, I don't know. Like I, I couldn't hear you guys. I can't see VGS and shit. You might've been doing it, but I'm going to just say it. When you're about to go in, say like gank, fight, attack, whatever, spam it, and then fucking go in, so they know. I, I think my um the um like my knowledge of like the map play seemed to be on par with everyone else. Like um 
when we win a fight and decide to go for a different objectives or shove mid or whatever else, I was on the same page with everybody else. We were calling the same things. That's so good. I, that means I, you should be able to lead a little bit in your yeah, rank games and get I yourself like more I, wins. I understood the map really well. Um, there were a couple, there was one time when we were playing around fire and I was trying to loop around behind. Um, the Baba Yaga was almost out of position and then the support ended up coming up in front of me and as the fight continued we got ratlow and i went to follow him but the fucking wall was too fat and i couldn't alt like i alted early oh so i know what you're talking about you're talking about at uh yeah. at red buff at their red buff yeah the wall was yeah. too fat like if if that wall was a little bit skinnier i think i killed rat there realistically but that was one of the times where you used the wrong form and you probably should have just you ended up doing a knock up to hit multiple people and then wanting into the aoe which i'm not saying was wrong but you even said it that Baba Yaga was out of position. If you had just fucking stunned him and comboed him, you would have yeah. instantly got beads. And that that little bit of the of the of targeting changes that team fight because the Baba Yaga doesn't free cast. The Baba Yaga doesn't play the game for a yeah. second. So your team can position better. So that's why I was asking if you had a target in mind in a lot of these fights. Because if you do, you'll ruin that person's life. If you're a little all over the place, things like that'll happen where the rat dashes out. You, I honestly don't think you would have been able to ult that rat fast enough to kill him. He got really okay. far away. You couldn't see it. Obviously I can because I'm spectating. Yeah. He got really far around that wall before you got up in your ult. So I'd be so really surprised you, if you'd have killed him. When you ask if I have a target in mind, there's somebody that I would like to go for. Uh, but what is it like Sun Tzu? I think said some shit about like going into battle with a plan, but then once like shit hits the fan, the plan goes to hell. Yeah, and obviously that, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna like, react. It's like I want to go for the Baba, but then you know fights would start, and then I would get distracted or tunnel something else. So I really appreciate the feedback, yep. man. Thanks. No problem, dude. Appreciate you doing it. Good luck yeah, in the dude, future, brother. Me a shot. Yes, sir. Later.